Hello, this is Harry Forbes from ARC Advisory Group. I'm here with Stefan Hopp, who is the president of the OPC Foundation. Stefan, welcome. Thank you, and thank you for having me here. It's always nice to have you here, and I appreciate you flying over for, to, for our forum. Um, could you give us some news about the OPC Foundation? You had some announcements yesterday. Give us an update. Well, first of all, we know this is a meeting place here in North America, so that's why we are here. And we made a huge announcement yesterday. It's our pleasure to announce that the OPC Foundation has welcomed the 900th member. It's a small company called Procter and Gamble, <laughs> <laughs> and here you see me smiling. It's, it's an honor for us, obviously, to have such a huge end user uh, in, in, in our membership. Remember, all of us are in contact with Procter & Gamble products all day, all mornings, all over the day. And, and OPCA is a big part of their production line. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happily announcing that. Another thing that you have been working on for several years is the field initiative and a cloud initiative. Um, we're I'm always interested in the field initiative, but could you update us on both of those and where they stand? I'm again excited that we are we, we have shipped the, the demos over the ocean. It's now permanently here in North America. Uh, it uh, is shown here at our booth. Uh, we have for the field level communication 25 controllers from the who's who of automation companies talking horizontally to each other in standardized data modeling, standardized data, communication, OPCA pops up over UDP to each other. Mm -hmm. um, we have shown uh, OPCA safety. Um, it's, it's phenomenal. Um, with the cloud initiative, last year we announced that we have two companies. At that time, it was only uh, Becker, company Beckhoff and, and Siemens pushing data in a standardized way directly from the controller. OPC pops up. Mm -hmm. over MQTT directly to the Microsoft Azure dashboard. This year we have 25 companies, but and, and I can't name all of them. It's, it's, it's not only controllers, it's also KUKA robots and, and, and mm -hmm. weighing systems and so on. Um, and obviously the, the who is who of controller companies, but uh, it, it's also AWS, the, the cloud giant AWS, who also is understanding and receiving um, the standardized OPCA over MQDT message. And this is a phenomenal success and, and a way to the future. Because the message is, if you have this in your controller or in your gateway, you are no longer locked in into a specific ecosystem. You can, you can just change the, the URL where to, to push the data and, and Microsoft Azure and AWS are understanding the data without writing additional receiver mm -hmm. uh, code, code and so on. Yeah. So it's, it's reducing engineering efforts and you have the plug and produce connector to major cloud systems. Fantastic. You have a, always had a pretty broad scope of collaboration between OPC Foundation and other organizations. Um, I can name a bunch of them, but uh, standards development organizations, other interoperability organizations. What's what's the news in that area, the collaboration area? Oh, well, I mean, specifically here, where we have see a lot of uh, um, organizations talking on on the process industry, like the OPAF group is, mm -hmm. is uh, have internally decided to to standardize on OPCA, but also the MTP initiative and Namur Open Architecture. But OPC is not only in the area of process industry uh, and, and manufacturing, we are growing into, in, in general into two directions. Number one, we are growing into the energy area with renewable carbon capturing and storage. Mm -hmm. uh, in solar panel, we, we started a new working group on solar panel. The world largest solar panel production plants in the world are running with OPCA, which makes us really proud. We, just today, again, mm -hmm. here at ASC Forum, we, we published a, a new success story. And the second direction is um, we are going more vertical into the IT area. So how to connect to data spaces, uh, how to connect to the metaverse, how to connect to digital twins. And this is, and this has been the second announcement we did yesterday here at the press conference. We announced a collaboration with the uh, US-based 
uh, industrial digital twin consortia um, because we both have an understanding that the modeling of the digital twin is super easy and efficient done with help of OPCA technology plus we already have the connectivity what I, what I was talking before so yeah this all makes sense so we are, we are extending our collaboration in, in these two directions okay and what should people look for as a technical direction if, if if I wanted to know what your overall technical direction is, what do you see, how do you see that developing in, in the future? It, it, at the end, it's always the same. If in a digitalized world, you need to exchange standardized data. And, and that's what we are doing since 15 years where OPC products are now on the market. Um, OPC UA products on mm -hmm. the market. Yes. We, we, we know the, 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 the previous legacy, version, right, right. E even longer time. But, but we are really proud that, and, 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 and this is really unique from my point of view, um, it is, OPC UA is driven by the industry. There is no public uh, research money inside, number one, really addressing industry needs. Second, there is no compatibility, uh, compatibility break. So, so the first OPCA products, which have been published in the year 2007, um, 16 years later, still you can connect and it's just working. And, and this is this confidence, this trust, uh, including the built-in security. This is what the industry needs. And this is what I believe also why, why other companies, people, companies um, and industries trust on OPCA, right? At, at the end, it's trust. And, and um, I was a little bit smiling be be because um, I, I, as an engineer, always like to list all the features, what are the benefits of OPCA and so on. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, we, we just received different messages. Uh, yeah, I had to integrate it into my product because my end customers asked for this. That's a simple answer, right? Yes. If the market is just requesting a technology, then it's fantastic. Yeah? Well, thank you very much, Stefan. It's, it's been a pleasure talking to you. And again, I appreciate you coming in, uh, over, over the Atlantic and, and speaking with us today. Thanks for me. It's a pleasure for me to be here. Thank you. And we'll see you again soon. Absolutely. Thanks. This is Harry Forbes from ARC Advisory Group. I've been speaking with Stefan Hopp, the president of the Global OPC Foundation. Thank you for watching.